Yeah, check this sucker out. I pulled this out of uh, the scrap pile yesterday. And I already got a good look at it. I'm pretty sure I know what's wrong with it. Yeah, what I thought was wrong with it is wrong with it. I can hear it right now. So, how do we fix that? Um, or do we even bother to fix that? Because it could be dangerous. Look at the bottom of that. That worked good. All right, let's go bust out the welder. stand next to it when it's full. That's what we're working with here. I do want to make sure I take a photo. So rather than just throwing some weld on it and calling it okay, I am actually going to take this apart and stick a camera in it so I can inspect it and give it a hydro test for the pressure washer because essentially this thing is a bomb when it's pressurized and uh, you don't want it to fail. Seen some pretty gnarly compressor fail videos on YouTube, so. There we go. I've got this uh, USB inspection camera. You ready? Go down the hole. That is looking pretty gnarly. We're filling her up. So to do a hydro pressure test, you want to fill it to one and a half times what the rated pressure is. Well, we got our uh, pressure tester here. This is a compression tester for an engine, but I hope it works. This particular tank was 150 psi, so I'm going to bring it up to 225 and let it sit for a while. As you can see, she's up to over two, she's like between 210 and 240. It doesn't look like it's... Uh... <laughs> peeing out anywhere, so... Yeah, I'm not seeing any leaks down here. There's no major catastrophic failure yet. We'll go ahead and we'll leave this out here for like a half hour. 
we'll come back and see what she's making for pressure so well, we've been out here for about 15 minutes i'm noticing a steady drip under the tank now though yep oh that's a bummer yeah that's coming that's from the inside <sighs> win some you lose some you know but i'm glad that i did that because Now I know that there's another hole I need to patch. No, that I should probably throw it away. <laughs> uh, the whole bottom there is pretty uh, compromised around the drain plug. Woo! She got me. 215 PSI right on my thumb. Kind of hurt a little bit. I guess to summarize this video, it's important that you do exercise safety, especially around stuff like this. You know, I took a chance. I probably spent 40 bucks in the hopes of getting a presser that I can use in my shop. And uh, the reality is it was thrown away for a reason. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with this tank now, though. Should I just bring it back to the scrapyard or should I try to make a fire pit or might cut it up? But that was hydro testing and I found another leak and uh, it was kind of evident from the inside on the camera that the bottom of the tank is really nasty, so. There it is right there. You can see where the paint's pushed out a little. My yard is a mess. I think that might be my next video is cleaning up the yard because we got snow coming. We're about a week away from uh, Thanksgiving. Look at this ugly monstrosity with some solid cross members in it. <laughs> I pulled everything out of here too and put down a uh, vapor barrier like you can see it, it works pretty good. Oh look at all the trash. A lot of people complain about this in the videos. I don't give a f It comes and it goes. It blows in the wind. It's just trash. It's not all mine either. Some of it's Maisie's. Huh. <laughs> I know. Oh. Little talkative girl, you.